The Spotlight Terror in event for Walking Wick and Iron Leaves has finally returned in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to go over all of the details today as well as the best builds to solo these Pokemon with in your games. So due to a glitch where players didn't update to 1.2 when this Terror Raid Spotlight event came around for the first time, it is returning so those players that did experience the bad egg instead of these brand new Paradox Pokemon have a chance to catch it in their games. Now unfortunately for the rest of us who did manage to catch these Pokemon the first time around, we are not able to get a second copy. They are going to be one per save file. The only players that are going to be able to obtain these Pokemon are those who missed out the first time around when it went live and those who experienced the bad egg. So for those of you that didn't update your games, went into it and experienced the bad egg and then caught it and then were unable to get these Pokemon afterwards, during this event you are going to be able to get yourselves Walking Wick and Iron Leaves in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This returning event will be running from the 1st of May until the 14th of May, so it's a long period, two week period where you're going to be able to get either Walking Wake or Iron Leaves. In Pokemon Scarlet, you're going to get primarily Walking Wake as your Paradox Pokemon. That'll be the event Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet. And in Pokemon Violet, you're going to get yourselves Iron Leaves. So Pokemon Scarlet players are going to have to go online and join raids for Iron Leaves. And Violet players will have to join Scarlet players to get themselves Walking Wake. Walking Wake has the Water Terror typing tied to it. It will be set to level 75 and it will only be a 5 star Terror Raid. Its moves are exactly the same as it was before. Hydro Steam, Dragon Pulse, Noble Roar, Flamethrower and Sunny Day. The Iron Leaves will have the Psychic Terror type and a moveset of Psyblade. Leaf Blade, Mega Horn and Sword Stance with the additional move of Electric Terrain. And although most of us won't be able to catch these Pokemon because we've already got them from the first time this raid appeared in February, it's still a very good raid for some good high cost item drops. You're going to get a lot of items like Pearl Strings, Big Nuggets, Nuggets and Bottle Caps and Ability Capsules as well as Terra Shards and that goes for both of them. So they can definitely make for a good raid just to farm items get yourself level up candies and some items that you're going to be able to sell to kind of bolster your funds for other things to do in the game so to access this event in your games all you're going to need to do is come to your poker portal then come down to mystery gifts and get poker portal news that will update your terror raid dens in the area with this new spotlight terror raid event like I say, in Pokemon Scarlet, you will only be able to get one den, which will be that specific Spotlight Terror Raid event den for Walking Wake. And it'll be the same in Pokemon Violet, but you will get the Terror Raid event den for Iron Leaves. Now we've got three builds that we're going to feature in today's video. The first one that we're going to cover is Mariodon. It is going to be specifically for Walking Wake, and it will make such quick work of it. So this Pokemon is great. The first turn when you go in against Walking Wake, you're going to see it predominantly go for the Sunny Day and then Noble Roar. Noble Roar is going to reduce your special attack and attack by two stages, so you kind of want to avoid that. That is why we've got the clear amulet on this Pokemon. It is going to be set to level 100. Terra typing is going to be electric, but you're not going to have to worry about the Terra typing because it'll not get that far, honestly. The moveset that we've got is Charge, Metal Sound, Parabolic Charge if you need some line of recovery. And then the big damaging move is going to be Electro Drift. The EV spread on Mariodon is going to be 252 HP, 252 Special Attack with a modest nature. And it has that Hadron Engine ability. So that is the Mariodon done all the builds that we cover in today's video will be in the description if you want to take a closer look at them but the basic premise with this Maridon is going to be going into the raid first turn you're going to be going for a metal sound just to reduce the special defense on the walking wake by two stages the next turn go for a charge and then after that just go for the electro drift and most of the time it will pick up the one hit kill against the walking wig so even if you're going in if you've caught this pokemon just to farm for the items this is going to be probably your best pokemon to go in and solo with next up is scissor and it is going to be predominantly for that iron leaves now the item of choice is going to be a shell bell we've got the terror typing of bug and then the moveset of Sword Stance, Defog, Iron Defense, and X Scissor. We've got an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 Attack, 
and an adamant nature is the preferable nature on this one. The ability here is Swarm because it does power up bug type attacks when you're on a third or below of health, so that's always useful. Technician's not going to be useful here because it doesn't apply to X Scissor, and Light Metal really doesn't play any part in this raid at all. So go for Swarm of any of the abilities for the Scissor. The basic premise of this is to defog turn one, so you will remove the terrain, and that is the big thing. So you'll take away any boosts on the iron leaves. Then you're going to go for a sword stance and try and get three sword stances up and then go for X scissors. You can iron defense if you want, but with scissors, bug and steel typing, you're going to resist pretty much everything that the iron leaves can throw at you. And you're going to have a really easy time doing this solo in your game or even if you go online with other players. So a really, really solid option scissor for this one. Level 100, like I say, and the full build will be in the description. Now, the last one that we're going to feature here, and why not? Because it's been ripping through all these seven star terror raids recently, but it will be Annihilip and it will have that ghost terror typing. This one, Shell Bell is the item for a line of recovery. If you're going in against Walking Wake, you could consider the Covered Clog, but the Shell Bell just gives you consistency against both of them. And if you're using Annihilate just against both of these Pokemon, then the Shell Bell is probably the more consistent item out of the two. The moveset that we've got is Bulk Up, Screech, Drain Punch, and Rage Fist, EV spread of 252 HP, 252 attack, and a Defiant ability on it. So the Defiant ability is the most important thing here because against that walking wake it will use a noble roll and it will proc the defined ability giving you plus three attack straight off the bat when it does use that and then you're primarily going to use a combination of screech bulk ups where necessary and then rage fist is going to be your main attacking option you can use drain punch as well obviously as a form of recovery if you need to but rage fist is going to be boosted every time you hit and with the screech combination you're going to be able to do quick damage very big damage quite quickly in this raid and uh, like I say in I live a very solid choice and a good one to fall back on if you don't want to go with the Maraidon which is super quick probably the quickest to do the walking wake or the scissor which is just a really solid choice against that iron leaf so an is the fallback for these three and because you'll only get one of these event dens in your map per day if you do defeat it you'll have to wait 24 hours to get a new one otherwise what you can do to get it straight away is to just use this method of hitting your home menu and and then coming down into your system settings, down into system, down into date and time, and then click into date and time itself, click through all the options, click OK, and then come back up into the game and all your dens will respawn and you'll get a brand new Spotlight Terror Raid event for the respective Pokemon that is appearing in your game. Here we've got the Walking Wake, so we can just head over to it again and farm it for those high cost items. So a very quick update today for this brand new Spotlight Terror Raid event that is returning for two weeks in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Of course, we're going to have the second phase of the Inteleon Terror Raid event running this coming weekend. So that is something else to look forward to. And then we should get the announcement of our next seven star Terror Raid event after that on the Sunday night for the following week, which is very exciting. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think that next seven star Terror Raid event will be. And good luck and have fun with this brand new spotlight terror at event that has just went live in game thank you so much for tuning in if you found today's video useful as always please drop a like it does really help the channel out and subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with all of our pokemon skull and violet content thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then take care and bye bye